Welcome to this yin yoga class to stretch out your back, upper back, lower back and your side body. We will begin in a straight leg forward fold also called caterpillar pose in yin yoga. So please swing both legs out in front of you. And you might want to sit up on something if you know you're rolling forward from your low back. We want to don't hunch in the lower back here. So if you need to sit up on a folded blanket or a pillow. This is a passive forward fold. So just let your spine round, chin to chest. Relax your head, neck and arms. Everything hangs heavy. Let gravity have you. No pushing, no pulling forward. There's no reaching towards the feet at all. We keep a slight bend in the knees so that we don't lock them up. Holding for around five minutes here. And it depends where you hold the most tension, where you will feel the stretch the most. If you don't practice this pose often, for me at least, I tend to feel it more in my neck and upper back. And the more often and regularly I do this pose, the more the stretch wanders down into my mid to lower back. Turn the palms up and soften into this shape.
be really mindful of your lower back as we make our way back up, engaging the arms, pressing onto the mat to lift inch by inch, neck is the last thing to come back up. Really slow. And as a counter pose, come into a cross leg position or kneeling, and we will take a moment to notice how we feel different. Before doing a little seated twist to the left side first, right hand to the outside edge of your left knee, left hand behind you and then twist gently to the left as a little counter pose. And now other side, left hand to the outside edge of the right knee, right hand behind you twisting to the right. then release, come back to center, making our way into our next pose, remove the blanket if you have had it, come to the center of the mat and we will come into half butterfly, extend your right leg out to the side with the left foot to the inside of the right thigh, maybe you want to use a block for the side bend, you can lean to the right side placing your elbow on the block on the first or second side, Bending into the elbow to support your head with your fist. Left arm just relaxes onto your left knee, shoulders relaxes down and back. About four minutes in this pose. Relaxing all muscular effort and letting gravity do the work.
to come out, place the hand on of the arm that was on the block on into the floor to press back up. And we will do a forward fold before coming to the second side. You might need a second block or pillow or bolster here. Turn your upper body over the right leg to let your upper body fold, letting your back round again. And you can prop yourself up, making a block tower for your head. You can always just use one block if you can reach, but that's very intense, so... You could always use pillows and books from around your home. Whatever feels best for you here. Make your way back up using your arm strength, only removing the blocks. And then coming into the side stretch on the second side. This time your left leg will go out, right foot will come to the inner edge of that thigh. Sit up nice and tall, extend the crown of the head up. And then bending into the left side with your torso, left elbow rests on a block on whichever side, first or second side, wherever your edge is. And sometimes it's different from side to side. You might on one side find the first level appropriate and on the other side the second level of your block. Or support, whatever you're using. It's totally normal that the body is different between sides. Accept where you are in this moment and then fully let go and open up to this pose.
And we come out, arm strength only, being careful, lifting all the way back up and then coming into the forward fold. Rotate your upper body over the left leg, maybe using two blocks this time to support your head and upper body, making a bit of a block tower. And then draping your upper body over the left leg. Palms face up, arms relax, deep in and out breaths through the nose.
turn both palms to face the mat and then press into the floor to lift back up to center inch by inch. Maybe removing the blocks or any support you used, put them off to the sides, come into a comfortable seated position, cross-legged or kneeling. We will close this practice here. Thank yourself for making it to your match today. And be proud of yourself for taking this time to prioritize your own well-being and your own peace. Know that however this class went for you and whatever may have happened in your day before this practice, you are enough, you have enough and you are doing enough. Arms come together in front of the heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with a friend. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.